Hey, welcome back. Uh, we're going to continue work on our anthropomorphic project here, and we're going to use the bean technique, which uh, from what I've seen so far, you guys have done a fantastic job, and we're going to get on those. So what we're going to do is we're going to take take off from where we left off. We've got a couple of characters, and I may just go ahead and draw another couple characters to kind of push that whole theming, because what we're going to do on this uh the second phase of development is we're going to go ahead and start theming these. So what I mean by theming is we're going to be be adding features to begin creating sort of a storytelling uh, that's happening between the two figures. You know, like let's say these two bears are going out for a walk or going out for a picnic. Uh, what are some of the things that they would be carrying with them? What kind of clothes would they be wearing? Uh, what if there were a couple of cats going out fishing? <laughs> you know, something really funny but relevant, right, to the subject. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, now, what you can always do is, if you if you kind of want to creep up on it, you can uh, go ahead and use the ultrafine marker. I like doing that, and when I feel confident that I've got a design that I like, I'll come back in with my uh, larger Sharpie marker. In this case, it's the Mono Twin, which has a double nib on it. You know, I've started to use this pen lately because I I like the firmness of the of the broad nib, and it gives me good. Uh, ink quality, good line weight. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and take these two pens, right, my ultra, ultra fine point and my Sharpie, and I'm going to put them aside, and I'm going to go ahead and focus on doing a little more work with uh, the ultra fine point. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're going to continue work on these two bears. They look like they're ready to go somewhere. Uh, uh, we've got a little bit of action going on here with the little bear, so let's say they're going on a picnic. So my take on this is that they're probably going to be carrying some sort of basket, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and loop a basket here. So I'll go ahead and uh, begin with the, uh, the handle. And then I'll kind of follow some rules of perspective to draw the basket. And I'll kind of, if you notice my little sleight of hand here, I've given the basket a little bit of a forward kind of orientation, like it's kind of tipping down. And by doing that, it kind of gives it a bit of animation, right? Because as you're walking, you're always kind of swinging your arms, right, back and forth. And then what I'm going to give uh, the little one here is maybe a, a little shoulder bag, sort of like a messenger bag of sorts. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm just going to kind of give him a little satchel. Okay, so because of perspective... I can kind of get away with just kind of obscuring a bit of the bag, but showing the end cap of the bag, and then giving him a nice shoulder strap. Might give him some padding so he feels more comfortable. Okay. Um, some other uh, details that we might want to consider are maybe some boots, right? So maybe some hiking boots. Now, you notice that I'm just sketching right, literally right over it. And I'll tell you the reason why is we're kind of setting up an underlay. Because what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take another sheet of paper, flop it right over, and we're going to go ahead and make those uh, additions, right, of all the accessories, but fit the bear right into it. So you're going to see that happen uh, in a few moments, okay? So we're going to give them a little bit of protection. We'll put a hat on them, okay? You see how I kind of use the contour lines of the bear's head? And that kind of helps me with my perspective. It gives me a bit of orientation so I know where the front and the center line is. You see how I use the center line of the, the little bear's face? And I went ahead and gave him a little cap here. Okay. So I think that's about it. Here's the deal when you're doing anthropometric, uh, anthropomorphic, I'm sorry, um, characters, is that you want to make sure that they stay uh, true to their, uh, their character with regards to who they are, their bears, but you also want to give them human qualities and you don't want to put so much on them that it kind of becomes ridiculous. You know, it's like it's overdone. Uh, it's always striking that nice, happy balance between being pure to, uh, the creatures or the characters, but then also to kind of, you know, uh, give just enough detail to, uh, kind of make it fun all right so let's go ahead and maybe give the papa bear a little bit of a more of a, a deeper bill on his hat okay and we'll get we'll maybe square it off and by doing this contrast between something round and something square you can actually create this bit of contrast uh, because they are 
of different ages and uh, and you want to kind of push that a little bit more and and by doing this subtle difference between square and round you drive that difference okay now uh, now I did say that we're gonna give him some boots so let's go ahead and give some boots here okay and then uh, we might give him a vest okay because I have a feeling Papa Bear likes to carry accessories so we're going to just kind of open the vest the chest of the vest and then we'll just kind of skirt the bottom here let some of his belly show out okay and i think that looks about right i think that's about the right level of detail that you want to take on a drawing like this so what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the next phase and you see i, I just added just enough detail to to uh, to move them forward and now i'm just going to go ahead and take that drawing and i'm going to slip it underneath a fresh sheet of paper okay I'm not sure if you can see. Um, I watch well, you can't see a little bit. Uh, I'll probably see a lot more, and you'll start to see the characters come to life. And at this point, it's mostly a tracing uh, process, so don't worry so much about getting the bean because you've already established the bean. So what I'm just going to do here is I'm just going to slowly go through and trace over. And as you trace over, you'll go an enhanced feeling of confidence when you're sketching because you no longer are designing or as far as doing the layout work you're basically taking the base drawing which is pretty good okay and you're simply just kind of say okay uh I've, I've got a good thing going here i understand where i'm headed but now what i'm going to do is i want to concentrate on details right so maybe there's a little more detail on the bill of the cap right there's a little more detail with the vest uh, you'll feel a lot more confident with the arms so we'll go ahead and bring the paws forward okay we'll maybe add a color to papa's shirt okay make that a little more open give him a little belly here to soften him and keep him looking cute all right and now if you come down in here you'll see that i can now add some material thickness to the bale of the of the basket okay see how i'm starting to think about the outside and the inside of the of the ring and then now i can come in and add a little more thickness to um, the lid okay you see how I, I understand what i'm drawing now i've got the lid i've got a hinge on the lid and now i can kind of come in and offset the little basket underneath remember how i said i kind of gave it a little bit of a forward tilt and what that does is it kind of enhances that feeling of animation. Like it, it's really kind of swinging uh, to and fro as he's walking. Okay. So here we go. Let's go with the boots. Now a bit of the boot is obscured. So don't worry about that. Just do your best. Okay. Give him the welt of the boot. I mean the front of the boot. Okay. We've got a lot of detail in there. We'll just take our time. Okay. We'll come back and do the laces a little bit later. Okay. Now we'll come over to the little bear. Okay. Again, rounded cap. Right. We'll poke his ear out. Again, rounded cap. Okay, if you want to re recover the center line, go ahead and draw a center line. Maybe enhance his smile like he's talking to Papa Bear. We'll go ahead and give him a collar as well. Okay. We'll probably just give him a shirt. He's trying to be cool. Okay, and remember that shoulder strap, right? Remember we gave him a little messenger bag. So we'll go ahead and extend that pad over his shoulder. And then we'll just have to show the end of the bag coming out. Okay. Yeah, we just give him a shirt. He looks pretty cool with the shirt. 
and then we'll go ahead and bring his leg out, give him some nice hiking boots. Show the rest of his body. Don't forget his tail. Papa Papa Bear's tail is kind of obscured by the by the basket. So we 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 don't have to worry about that. And then we kind of come in and get the other boot done. Okay. Now it's kind of hard to remember how to draw these things, but just take your time. All right. Always remember you can always come back and and do an overlay, right? You can just come back in with your thicker marker. Okay. So we've got his messenger bag. We've got the shoulder strap. We've got a tail. I think we're good to go. The area that we're kind of working on a little bit more later is part of the, uh, the detail for Papa's boot, but we'll worry about that a little later. Okay. But let's go ahead and go to the next phase, which is uh, wrapping up this drawing. So let's see if I can maybe zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. Okay. So let's see if I can zoom. Okay. Zoom. Back off a little bit. Maybe I'll center my, you know, just pop my drawing over here just a little bit more. And we'll just continue. Okay, so now I put away my Sharpie. And now I'm going to go in with my larger Sharpie. Okay, this is again the model twin pen from, uh, I believe it's Tombow. And I, I, I've been loving this pen. This is so cool. Uh, I've kind of replaced my big Sharpie with this guy. Uh, the nice part about this is that you get the benefit of an ultra fine point. And when you pop the other side off, you get the uh, the, the broader nib, or, the, or they call it the fine point. I like it because it's nice and firm, and it delivers really consistent black ink. So let's go ahead and sketch with that. And all we're going to do is, like we always do when we're finishing up a sketch, is we come back over and use this to kind of strengthen the outlines. Okay. You want to preserve this balance between the uh, primary line work, which was done with the ultra sharpie, ultra fine point sharpie, and then come back over and pop the lines out of uh, the main object using um, the fine point. I know it sounds so confusing when I say fine point, ultra fine. It's like, come on, Dave, get it straight. <laughs> but after a while, you'll just kind of know, and you'll just reach for the right pen. Uh, when you get to that phase of the sketch, okay? So don't don't get too hung up on my terminology. I think at the end of the day, uh, you all know what to do uh, when you kind of get to that point where it's like, hey, I got to finish this thing up, right? And uh, and it's more so when you start working professionally. You just kind of know, got to know when to transition so that you can meet your deadlines, okay? So those are really good, good, uh, just kind of professional practice uh, things that you want to keep in mind when you're sketching. All right. So here we go. Almost there. Look how quickly this goes, right? After all, you just kind of get into that groove. You just kind of know uh, where those lines belong. And also you get a you gain this confidence, right? When you're getting towards the end of the sketch that, hey, you know what? This is almost there. <laughs> and and we're here we are. Okay, we'll put a little more dark going back here under Papa's uh, hat. So there you go. They're going. They're going on. A, they're going on a hike. They're talking about the things they want to do when they get to their destination, and what you can do to kind of enhance and strengthen the storytelling devices. You can maybe add a little bit of ground texture, right? Uh, you don't have to worry about shadows. We're just kind of adding a little bit of texture on the ground to kind of enhance that experience okay and here i'm just kind of using my ultra fine point to dribble in some grass and some and some uh, gravel on the pathway right okay all right well i i, I highly suggest that uh this next phase is gonna uh, bring your drawings uh to life and uh and i think it's gonna be a lot of fun and i think you'll find yourself uh, immersing yourself into more detail. But remember, um, you want to kind of strike that balance between preserving the character, right? The 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 uh, anthropomorphic uh, 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 character with the theming of, of, of the activity or the clothing. All right. 
So this concludes this video. Uh, go have some fun, and we'll see you back online soon with a new video. All right.